All right, welcome to part three of this Splutter tutorial guide on the physics creator. So, in the previous two parts, if you have missed them, we went through what every uh, option is, what you need to know for this basic game. But this is probably the main start of the tutorial for many, that's how to make a decent looking game. So we're going to start right from the basics, probably what you do know, and this is using the drag and drop from the prefabs to create your level. Now on the previous part, I did mention not to just go straight into building uh, the map. You First of all, you want to click on this icon or this icon uh, to get these four options. Again, back to a previous part, these were your important options. Uh, more importantly, these three rather than music. So the first thing you want to select is the play field. Now, for this basic game you want to do, I really want to go normal size just so you've got the normal screen to work on. Uh, gravity you want on and then probably the enclose just for now but we'll go into more details about umpen uh, very shortly but then background is the most important you want your game to look appealing for people to play okay so just again experiment with the backgrounds until you get one now I'm going to make a game what's kind of set in the day so I'm going to do a bluish theme uh, get a bit of the clouds effect on like that and click apply uh, now goals will be one of the last things you do with music so now we have got as you can see like a bluish background but there's nothing on it now uh, you can uh, drag and drop on this screen so you can see the objects you put in or you could do it on this screen here and drag and drop here so as you see now we've just added a platform uh, this is going to be what the character uh, can stand on and basically your main playing area so uh, let's start building a small platform here of course you could adjust the size uh, to your heart's consent content uh, so what we go do we go to have the character uh, standing here and we go have it so he has to jump over a gap uh, and then collect some coins while avoiding an baddie uh, we also could put s spikes where the gap is, alright? So, what I do, you want to either, if you want to duplicate this, uh, you hold shift and drag away, and it does that, or you can just drag in another platform like that. It don't matter what you do, I'm just going to delete this, uh, just pretend that I've just dragged this in. Okay, so I'm going to create my gap and adjust this size uh, like so. Okay, so as you see already, we've got kind of a playing area here. Of course, you can use the highlighting tool. Uh, on this paintbrush or you could go back on here and highlight as so and uh, use the arrow keys to move pixel by pixel or you could drag them like this so I'm going to have them uh, I'm going to have them around about the middle of the screen just so it's easier to see like that okay so now we need the player so we're going to drag this player in uh, as you can see here he is uh, on this screen uh, again there he is of course uh, you can choose what keys to press better if you don't want to keep hitting this when you want to drag around click this icon here and it just goes simply uh, so you can select the arrows like that so uh, let's position him uh, so he's just in the middle and as we test of course remembering to test all the time uh, as you can see he is just a basic start of a jumping character now as you can see he just turned here and this is where I'm going to introduce one of the options from earlier uh, what I said I would come into if you don't want him to rotate in the air, so as you can see here when I fall down, he rotates and he's spinning a bit. Well, let's take this off and have it so it just falls straight straight away. I'll show you what I mean. You go onto this icon here and once again, we're going into these four here. You want to click here. As you can see, this is he falls down to the gravity naturally. We go to select this icon here. This means it does not rotate, but it slides. So as you can see here, he falls without rotating. And we'll just go back to this. When he jumps, it's a bit nicer to play with than rotating all over the screen because it goes out of control. Uh, this is just uh, better to control for the player as well, and it feels more better overall. So, as you, so at the moment, we've got the character and have adjusted his speed why don't we change the color because the color options are here uh, let's have I'm going to have uh, blue just like the blue Sun for me uh, blue character and let's give him one eye or two eyes must be nice okay so as you can see we've made our own customizable character but first of all we need an objective so 
as you can see here we've got options of the coin drag and drop the coin and here we've just made our first coin so uh, let's put this here and test it again and as you can see now jumping over the gap you slide and touch the coin uh, to score this will be uh, one of the most important things in making a game the touching of the coin to get the goal so let's for this game uh, have three coins right at the back of this platform area okay so try to position them so they look appealing uh, instead of everywhere and so far all you have to do is jump over and collect the three coins but now you're probably wondering how come the game is not ending but as you can see up here it says three out of ten coins this brings you back to that goals tab on this section here so the goals tab says top score to win level 10 as we've got three coins here you would pick three the number of lives will be how many lives your character has uh, to touch any baddies and as you see down the left we will be adding a baddie so we're going to leave the section just for now and just change it to three so as you see now when we collect all three coins it finishes the level but now this is too easy as all you have to do is jump over the gap which is easy enough and collect the three coins let's add a hazard to the game the baddie so the baddie as you see has a hugely wide area uh, these orange arrow as you see is what i did touch on early on the widget section as the elevator kind of uh, icon the elevator this allows an object to move along these arrow lines as you see here you could just by dragging uh, these white circles on this section once you clicked it so let's uh, set it back to the default and just watch its pattern as you can see it goes along this gray line sometimes glitching out in areas but what you want to do is make a little danger so we collect these coins and let's show what happens if you touch him and that's me falling off let's see what happens when you touch him you lose a life so this is going back now to the life back on the goals so if you're happy with how many enemies of course changing colors at your own will uh, let's do the gray sun as the enemy with one eye okay so we've got our evil enemy here so if you're happy with your enemy selection, go back to the goals and change your lives to whatever lives you want the character to have. As we've only got to one enemy, let's have one life, meaning if you touch him, the game ends. Number of penalties is, uh, personally, I think is silly. Uh, so just put zero on here. Uh, this is not compulsory in this game. And time limit, uh, you could add a time limit to the game. Of course, uh, we could add a 20 second time limit if we wanted. Uh, click apply and as we test the time is now in the corner and we've got our lives adjusted so you lose if you touch this uh, now on the game when it is published the game would end at this point so we're back to this play area as you see now we have our character the platforms the coins and the enemy uh, but that is not all because what happens if you fall down as it stands at the moment you just fall down and nothing really happens you just stuck at the bottom of the map running the time down uh, and losing the game so now we go to add another danger this is the spikes so the spikes are another way you could die in this game and of course in this basic tutorial game playthrough uh, are one of two of the hazards are here so let's adjust the spikes and let's put them running along the whole floor of here so that means now if you fall down you hit the spikes like so Again, you could adjust the lives to two, however, it would be kind of pointless because if you fall down and you have two lives, the game will once again uh, not end and you'll just be stuck at the bottom. So keep the score to the enemies instead of the spikes. So as you see now, we've made kind of a basic level of a game where you have to jump over the enemy while minding the gap. However, in my next part, we'll be going more advanced, having platforms moving up and down and making more enemies and introducing the open life of course there is before i finish this option of an extra life this would just be a box what your character could hit to gain an extra life like this uh, this could mean that we hit this guy and the game doesn't end and we could possibly fall down uh, but only put extra life is if the game is pretty tough but this game is pretty basic at the moment uh, so we'll leave it there 
But in the next part, please click the annotation in the corner as we go into advancing the game.